Hello and welcome to my uh, new video in which I would show you the new feature in version 2.05 of VFR Flight and this feature is a uh, calculation of uh, maximum gliding uh, range um, okay so uh, the safest way to plan your route uh, is always if you're flying single engine airplane is always to plan it avoiding the large open water, large forests, etc. etc. because in case of engine fa failure you wouldn't have uh, any chance to, uh, to make emergency landing. But uh, I was always uh, wondering what is really large, what does it really mean? So. So if you're pilot of, or if you know something more about this, uh, you can already know that to calculate your maximum gliding range, it's kind of easy operation because all you need to do is to know uh, the variable, two variables. First is li lift to drag ratio of your plane. And the second one is, uh, the speed of best glide. Both of those variables you can take uh, from pilot operating handbook for any plane, should be there. Uh, and mm, to calculate your maximum gliding range, you only need to, uh, you need to multiply your altitude with the lift to drag ratio and then convert it to the units you need. Okay, so just to uh, just to bring this calculation dialog, all you have to do is click somewhere in the map and click this, calculate maximum gliding range. So it would do for this point, it would do the calculation. So here you need to put those variables I was talking about, lift to drag ratio, 10 is for Cessna 150. And here is the speed of best glide, which is 60 knots for this Cessna. Uh, and of course we are good pilots, so we would uh, double check uh, this information uh, that we got from here, from, from this program. So this point is over the ocean, so we expect that the elevations over here are around zero feet. So we should expect something like some, something like circle with a radius of 2.5 nautical miles and this is because if we multiply those two things variables you would get 15,000 uh, feet and 15,000 feet is around 2.5 nautical mile so okay I press ok here we have the, the circle and it is around 2.5 nautical mile okay great so first test is successful okay so I choose uh, the airport in Fort Sound here in New Zealand because it's in mountainous area, so it would um, it would sh show in better way this uh, this new feature, these calculations, uh, because yes, because we have here the the high terrain around this airport. Airport itself is uh, near near the near the level of the water. Okay, so we want to calculate this over the surfboard, calculate maximum gliding range, okay, and we have something like this. So, uh, just to check if it's correct, we would put a terrain layer over this, just to have a better view, view close. So, as you can see, here we have some, mm, some higher terrain, higher, higher than 1500 feet. So it seems that is correct because here the terrain is much lower. And also we could use the terrain layer filter. So I put 1,500 feet just to draw only elevations that are that have value larger than 1,500 feet. So as you can see, this is probably true. Again, here we have something around 2.5 nautical mile. So it looks great. 
okay so that's the new feature i hope you like it version 205 would be released very soon probably even tomorrow so thanks for watching